if there is any one good thing I can say about the British press, it is that they are consistent. That they are. Very. I feel as a royal watcher, I know each and every time exactly how they're going to react to each and every scenario. Depending on the persons or person. Now, at this point, it's no secret that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had attended a world premiere of the Bob Marley biopic. And this is the first appearance of Meghan Markle this year. And as them as a couple. And did they make a splash? As you can see by the reaction of the British press. And before we get into those reactions, guys, if you enjoy my content, please make sure you subscribe to me and follow me. And also, please make sure you comment because I really want to know your opinion on this. Now, let's see some of these reactions. It's a doozy. This comes from The Mirror. Uh, you know, the publication that Harry sued and won. Yeah, that publication. Harry and Meghan's welcome from Jamaica is stark contrast to Will and Kate's awkward trip. <laughs> you think? This is when the Prime Minister of Jamaica told Prince William the last time he had visited that Jamaica was pretty much going solo dolo and it was peace shawty. Literally, like, I can literally fit between the space. You can just sense the tension here. You could just feel it. Like, look at this space. Look at this space. Now, this next article comes from the very handsome Sarah Vine. It says, why the king should strip Harry and Meghan of their royal titles. <laughs> We're going to go through this. We're going to go through this article. This is hilarious. I'm going to do this in my dramatic Dre style voice. Let's get to it. Harry and Meghan are casting themselves as refugees from a repressive regime. The king should give them what they claim to want. And set them free by stripping them of their royal titles. <laughs> she proceeds to say, when I saw the pictures of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at the premiere of Bar Marley movie in Kingston, Jamaica, the first thing that sprung to my mind was how thoroughly refreshed they both looked. Pretty much she thought that uh, they both was going to look stressed out and wrinkled and balding. I mean, Harry is balding at the top, but it ain't. He still got a little hair up there. I mean, that's what you're, you know what? We all can read through that, guys. Y'all can, I'm not even going to listen. We Next, next, next. Given how much the prince likes to use his platform for good, you might have thought he would have seized his opportunity to remind other men of the importance of getting their prostate checked. I mean, was, what was he supposed to do? Like, go to every single man at the premiere and just like, hey, guy, hey, buddy, get your prostate checked. Go check out that prostate. Get that prostate checked, buddy. Go get it checked. Don't get me wrong. That is a, that's an importance of all men that we should consider and be on top of, especially once we get older. But there's a time and place for things, and I, I don't wonder... Let's get to this next paragraph before I say what I want to say. As for the Duchess, normally a strong advocate for women's health, it does seem rather unsisterly. You gotta be fu- It does seem rather unsisterly not to wish the Princess of Wales a speedy recovery from her abdominal surgery. Ooh. I was going to go on a rant to say it's, it's rather unsisterly to let a lie spew for many years that, you know, the Duchess of Sussex made your daughter cry, made you cry over bridesmaids dresses when it was actually you. It's rather unsisterly to put your sister-in-law through a whole bunch of stuff when she was already going through stuff with her father and with him now coming and having a heart attack. You know, that's rather unsisterly, too. It's rather unsisterly as well. You know what? Let me stop. Let me stop. Dre, 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 Dre. You better stop it. So my response to all this was going to be, you know, for a bunch of people on a small island that screams to the high heavens every other week, every other day, pretty much, that Meghan and Harry is irrelevant. You sure want them to scream and shout about advocating and for their for the people's health and you want them to do all these things so but i don't understand why because if they're so irrelevant why will it matter no one's gonna listen right this is the part of the article that just i had to laugh effectively being canceled by your own son must take its toll on a man and i can only imagine how stressful it must be for the princess of wales to not only have to pick up the slack 
left behind a Duchess of Sussex departure, but have to do so with a smack. This is a joke, right? This is comedy. This is satire. This article is satire. What slack? The number of engagements worked in 2023? She, th there she go, right there. But who's above her? The Duke of... This is the Duke of Gloucester, the cousin of the queen, the late queen. And yeah, he's the one who's above, right above the Princess of Wales. He's done way more engagements than her. And done the same amount as the Prince of Wales. The exact same amount. <laughs> this next headline is so hilarious. Meghan and Harry pose next to anti-royal Jamaican prime minister who wants to ditch the monarchy and warned Wills and Kate there'll never be king and queen on his nation. As Charles undergoes prostate surgery and the princess of Wales recovers in the hospital. If y'all don't get y'all big headed, y'all are clowns. Straight up clowns. I mean, straight up, like beyond bozo clowns. Like, what? I, I don't even know what else to say at this point. It is so beyond stupid. Stupid. Let's also remind you that Sophie was seen here dancing as Kate was getting her surgery, or just got her surgery, and the whole announcement about King Charles prostate was just announced. So, did anyone see any headline talking about how can she dance during a time like this? Here's Princess Eugenie also attending a Paris Fashion Week show. Doing all this. Doing the surgery, doing the announcement of the prostate. Every, like, did anyone see any headlines talking about how can she go to a Paris show during a time like this? No. I've said this before and I'll say it again. The UK is continuously overplaying their hand when it comes to Meghan and Harry. Because not only does Prince Harry and Meghan do things and go to places just by surprise and without us even knowing, they continuously make you all look like a fool each and every time, and you fall for it. Just say you miss them, you want them back. Just say they sell our papers. Just be honest. As much as you want them to be honest about what you feel they lied about, I think you should take your own advice. Then maybe we can get somewhere. Maybe it can be a place of healing for everybody. No, I doubt it.